All right, this is the follow-up, and we are following up today on a video I did at George's Bass Chat not too long ago where I featured my good friend Fima Efron. My guest today on the follow-up is the mighty Othiel Burbridge. Othiel, thank you so much for making yourself available, and welcome to the follow-up. Man, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for the invite. Oh, yeah, my pleasure. Absolutely. <laughs> so for those watching, for those listening, um, we are here to talk about... Fima Efron, okay? Um, and the reason why I asked Othiel to be part of this follow-up video is um, I have an instructional DVD from Othiel, which is a couple years um, old now at this point, but uh, there are a couple things in it that I found incredibly helpful, and one of them, one of the chapters, so to speak, is... Uh, Othiel going into his inspirations, into his background, what he listens to, what he has listened to. And there's a variety of, of uh, artists there. I mean, it goes, it runs the gamut from Halia Jackson to Fima Efron. And um, Othiel is one of these players that, that uh, even mentions, uh, mentions uh, uh, Fima. And, and I was wondering, I was curious to hear his take on how a player like Fima is influencing him, is inspiring him. Um, you know, this can be taken in a lot of ways, but right now we are basically talking about what do certain players take from other players? What is the, what is the like, what is the dislike, what is the, the inspiration? So Atil, why don't you take it away um, and perhaps start with how you got introduced to FEMA's bass playing? I think it was a guy... Uh named Rich Vink. We were out, oh man, this was a long time ago. He was the sound man for Blues Traveler at the time. Mm -hmm. That's the early, early jam band days, you know. Mm -hmm. We were out like late 80s, early 90s, you know. And uh, I was with Aquarium Rescue Unit, which mm -hmm. was just off the wall, you know. And um, Rich was like, you got to hear these guys, they're insane called the screaming headless torsos yep. and i was like well i like the name already <laughs> and you know <laughs> and then i heard it and i was like what yes what's yeah. going on you know yeah <clears throat> and i heard a couple of versions of that band that the original one i heard was with jojo meyer and then uh um, gene lake took over after that but fema <clears throat> just struck me immediately because um, you know, a person's feel, mm -hmm. it's something that just, uh, it's apparent, whatever it is, or even the lack of it, <laughs> you right, know? Right, right. And, uh, excuse me, he has so much of it and I'm very particular, you know, like I like, uh, especially at that time, I'm way more open now than at that point, mm. but I like what i like you know and i right. like bass a certain way and right. i'm not right. dogging anybody else for doing differently but that's just what i'm into you know well and you know what you're into <clears throat> that's the thing like you, you yeah you have a very clear understanding of this is what i like you know this this i'm taking this or i'm, I'm going yeah. to leave this you know but don't let me interrupt sorry about that no it was uh, and and i still feel that way like there's just certain affinities that i just have Right. You know, there's a real roundness to it. I like when bass uh, just has a pregnant sound, like a big pregnant mm -hmm. stomach mm -hmm. or, you know, like, <laughs> you know, when a woman gets pregnant, her breasts are like filled with milk. It's just that, you know what I mean? That's yeah, like a it's, thing. There is something it's, to that. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, <laughs> it's like... <laughs> I, never, and, um... I never understood the, 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 the common... I don't know description of oh I'm pregnant sorry to f sorry for how I look I'm pregnant like you're beautiful what are you talking about that's the most that's know? like when you really see like uh, for someone that did certainly did not start out as a religious person you know like you could see a real miracle happen like it's a person that you knew that's and true. now all of a sudden this thing okay. just starts happening that was clearly programmed in there yeah, yeah, the yeah, whole yeah. time but you just never saw it yeah, and then yeah. it just switch comes on it's like whoa there it is 
But and you know, coming... that magic is like the same thing as bass. You know, it's like in music, there's a certain thing that's just like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, sure. and it's it's very apparent and it's not subtle. Yeah. It's obvious. Yeah. Can't say what it is, but it's like, is it there or is it not there? You yeah, know? yeah, 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 yeah. It makes <laughs> a lot of sense. And FEMA has that thing. And then um, also, you know, I noticed at least of what I had, had heard, which was Screaming Headless Torsos, uh, Lost Tribe, mm. uh, Michelle and DeGaia Cello. Like, it seemed like he didn't solo a lot, you know? That's right, right. But right. when he did, it was just like really profound. Yeah. Like it was really, everything stood out from it every other bass player yeah yeah no doubt i can think about those solos and it's just like the tone the approach Mm. the harmonic choices the the uh the attitude of it i was just like wow this thing is is so yeah yeah, it's so fully formed and you just it reveals more and it's just like how about this you're just like whoa and i i always thought that he never to me like got the credit that a lot of the other guys got. I I know among musicians, like any bass player with a brain's got to know about this guy. Oh yeah, you no know, doubt. no doubt. But at the same time, I was just like, that's why I always like brought his name up because I yeah. just thought here's someone that's really, yeah, done something very original, and really kind of wondrous to me. And I just like that, you know, that's the feeling that I used to get back when I was a teenager when you heard Alfonso Johnson or Stanley or Jocko and you're just like what what's going on here right you know like it just you get tingly it's just got your attention so he just has that thing you know that is a lot of things but yeah yeah no that is so cool there's this moment in the 1995 album the Screaming Headless Torsos album uh the song is Wedding in Sarajevo I believe yeah oh and he yeah. takes his solo and his <laughs> bass is just like completely distorted. Yeah. And the minute it the mi- I I'm not kidding, the minute I start he- I started hearing it, I was like, okay, this is a distorted bass and he's taking a solo and I don't want to hear anything else. Yeah. Because it's so strong and it's so so the how shall I put this, the intent behind it and the mm-hmm. concept behind it was so strong and musical, of course that you're like i've never heard this before but now i don't want to hear anything else in that spot yeah so that was um that was you know that was for me a a big a big thing with with fema sound and you know aside from that i don't want to get too far into me because i've already talked about me for an hour (laughs) i hear you (laughs) nevertheless um so let me let me ask you this uh because I had to think about this when when I prepared for the f- for the video with FEMA, um, we have we all have these these uh, players that we admire, right? Um, you know, I can rattle off a, a bunch of names and, and and all of that, and I'm sure you can do too. Um, but how is it that that we take certain things from players and put that into our playing? What, in your opinion, yeah. in in your you know. What is your thought about that? Because that is something that that does vex me at time. Um, where I'm like, how? Where is this coming from now? Oh, wait a second. I listened to X, Y, and C like two years ago, you know, and and it shows up, you know. Like, how? What's your take on that? And and if you want to, you can use FEMA as an as an example, but it, you know, it doesn't have to be. But if there is something, you know, what is it that 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 makes us? basically get inspi- inspiration and then how does it show up in our in our playing T- to me it's just uh <clears throat> certain things stick right and again it's that it thing like i can't say what it is but you could say if it's there or not right. so <clears throat> even if we are like totally inspired by the same guy mm. different things stick right in our minds right. so i really don't even try I don't try to stop it or uh, force it Mm. um, or insert it in any kind of way. I don't want to be doing anything, you know, Um, 
So certain things stick and then they just come out because they're stuck in there, you know? Right, 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 right. And right. hopefully they get um, kind of mutated. Well, they can't help but get mutated to be because my tone's going to be different. My mm. skin's different. My bone right. density's different. My, every, you know, there's all these differences. So it'll change it anyway with me out not really having mm. to work for it. But that's how I do it. It's all osmosis. It's yeah. let it marinate. Yeah, yeah. And then it's just in your head with all the other stuff. And I just try to put it in there with a lot of other stuff. So I'm not always, you could always hear the guys were like, that's a Jocko guy. That's a Stanley guy. Not that's that you true. can't hear that with me too. I think you can hear. Mm. I kind of wear my influences on my sleeve. Mm. Mm. But, <clears throat> you know. I can't sound like any of them, <laughs> you know, no matter how hard I try. So well, you, you it know, just I, comes I, out sounding like me anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, the thing, you know, we're trying to, to be our best versions, you know, by putting all this information into our brains and, and you know, hopefully also into our hearts because, you know, it's, it's not only up here, it's, it's got to be somewhere else as well. So in, in, in depending on, on how open we are, perhaps, and this might be interesting to the audience, right? How open we are to ourselves and, and, yeah. and you know, all of that, that entails, um, stuff will come out. The, you know, there's, of course, there's sort of, sort of a reason why I'm asking these questions and, and why, why that particular subject intrigues me so much because I do a lot of work in musical theater where our, like, if, if we compare our two careers, like, what you're doing, what I do, what I do is, is night and day, right? Um, yeah, yeah. It is quite different. Nevertheless, um, it's imperative to have these inspirations and have these influences, right? And make sure that they come out. Otherwise, you know, you can be very, you might as well just have a robot there or, or you know, it's, have a sequencer there. It's, it's exactly. Why just not program it? exactly so why bother at all yeah 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 so that's that's kind of the the basis or the the background why i'm asking that question because you know i i do find it important for people to you know open themselves up to influences and then also let them out this this is very yeah. important and you know let's see now we're talking about things that were were for me we're back on the ground of the spiritual mm. the emotional mm. the uh the psychological yeah you know what i mean because yeah, yeah. um you're dealing with fear so yeah. why why would we not let these things out because we're afraid why yeah. are we afraid yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah. yeah it's on page one of the bible and i'm not you know i was raised against like non-religious all that stuff but then when i checked it out it was very deep because like right there at the beginning it's <laughs> god says to adam why are you hiding from me? Mm. And he said, because I was ashamed. And he said, well, who told you to be ashamed? That's interesting. Mm. Now, that's a human thing that is like all those many centuries ago, millennia ago, mm. they zeroed right in mm. on a central problem that we can grapple with. It can actually kill us. Right, right. right. It could cost us our lives not answering this question, who told you to be ashamed? Right, right. Right. That's why right. I know when you were looking at the, uh, when I was watching the FEMA mm. interview you did, you talked about the critic, and that's where. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. And I and I do think the critic is necessary. Yeah, yeah. but you can't let the critic Take rule. Over. There has to be balance, right? Yeah. So yeah. we know what happens now. I'm afraid to even move. I'm right. afraid to speak. I'm afraid to even tell you. I'm afraid to talk about religion because this is a music podcast and they don't want to talk about right, like right, you know. But right. I just have to say, hey man, this is how my brain synthesizes things and sees how things are related, right? And it's part of the journey that I went on that could have cost me my life, right? Right. So it's not just playing music, right? <laughs> the same thing that made me afraid to step on stage and reveal myself like what colonel bruce talked about like really being naked mm. like let's clear the whole stage let's get that spotlight nice and bright right on you and now strip right and let's put it in high def and blow it up on the screen let's say like you know what i mean like that's what it feels like right so um now yeah, imagine, whatever 
<laughs> imagine, imagine being, imagine being in a pit, and and you have to sub like you know like the situation that FEMA was in and that I've been in like many many times, and and now you have to play amongst a number of five to twenty people who have played this show or this piece of music many many times who are yeah. very comfortable, and you have never done it before. I know every mistake you're gonna you make. Have, you have no <laughs> margin for error. Talk Not about me, like bro. T- talk about being like being like stripping down. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's like it, it's that's like so, twenty guns on yeah, you. Like first is, mistake. Uh, <laughs> like, it is. It is a lot. Um, but it, you know, it can also be a lot of fun. Like you know, I just wanted to like make okay. that analogy for. Yeah. For, for the audience because it's it that like between your world and my world you know the various f- aspects of freelance musicianship right um yeah there is a lot of similarity right there right? it's high stakes high stakes exactly so please continue <laughs> this, this. no but that's a, i think that's the whole key right there you know when we talk about music we're really talking about life Right. You know, when you think about how many people have not survived the pandemic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk just musicians. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just musicians that had preventable deaths. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we could keep narrowing it down and narrowing it down. There's like too many people that we've lost because we couldn't answer that question. Yeah. But this, how do we deal with this fear? Yeah. How do we deal with and a lot of it, to me, also comes back to the spiritual, and 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 I see it now from having my son. Mm. That in the story, and I'll just say the story because I'm not talking about anything literal mm. necessarily when I talk about religion. But in the story, God is a parent, right? Mm. Even male and female, both in Genesis right. one twenty six, it says we made right. Adam like us. Right, male yeah, yeah. and female wow it's I specific see. okay yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. so page one yeah chapter one 26 verse and when i look at me and nigel everything that god is saying to us in the story is exactly what i say to nigel mm. you're perfect just like you are man yeah so don't be i know you're afraid you don't want to be embarrassed yeah um i took him a taekwondo they had a sign on up at taekwondo thank you so much for seeing that it's that the biggest mistake you can ever make in your life is being afraid to make one yeah yeah very much so yeah yeah, yeah. so fear is is the motivation killer all right fear kills everything it kills kills our intent too it kills our intent it kills our, our 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 possibilities to come up with concepts to to be open to our own creativity to be open to our own awesomeness i mean there i see it you know Um, absolutely i mean it's not an egotistical thing no 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 no. i get it colonel bruce used to say it to me all the time he said your conception of what you is is limited it's in this thing and what you really are is like limitless right but you have to like destroy this box that you made right right Right. And that's Very why your so. that's a lot of your fears attached to, well, I'm just this. He's like, oh no, you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so imagine, <laughs> you, know. you know, imagine, imagine the 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 monumental shift that that is going on in in the mind of a FEMA Efron, right? Or in the mind of of in my mind, you know, when we get to called when we get called for gigs that are outside of our comfort zone right (laughs) like completely outside of our comfort zone right um that's why like the i try to to explain that at the beginning of the of the video with fema that the way how the two of us got to music was again like 180 degrees yeah i learned a lot of music he jammed period end of story like didn't yeah. even know the names of the strings. <laughs> I know when I heard that, I was like, "What?" Yeah, didn't even <laughs> didn't even matter, right? Um, so, I and 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 a lot of people like he doesn't necessarily get called to sub for a lot of players because um, people don't necessarily 
um, uh, think that that he would be into it or, or associate yeah. him with that kind of work. I did. I didn't know he was doing that stuff too. You know, nevertheless, nevertheless, he does it. You know, he does it for me, and and I am gladly to. Ca I'm gladly calling him over and over yeah. again. Um, it there is you know because we're talking about fear, and I do want to bring it back to the influence and the inspiration that FEMA had on your. Uh, or, or still has on your output right um so there is that whole thing of overcoming the fear of something that you don't know right you're stepping yeah. into you're stepping into this you, you're literally head first into the deep end right yeah. um there is uh, is there something that 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 we can take that perhaps you have taken from from fema um that perhaps will help us with that, like that will help other musicians. Uh, is there something, you know, is there some sort of mindset or is there a flip that needs to be, sorry, a switch that needs to be flipped? I always confuse that. Yeah. <laughs> it's from flip. <laughs> it's like, yeah. ah. <laughs> switch the flip. Yeah, ah. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, no, but is there is there something, because the, the, the thing that, that I, truly appreciated about that 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 dvd of yours right i mean aside from going into the whole drum business and and showing some stuff on the bass and all of that is awesome right but i still have my notes somewhere where you go into all of the inspirations all of the people that you are listening yeah. to right so i'm just curious like how is it that you listen to fema and what are you taking like how can you take some of that keeping all the the whole fear aspect in mind like keeping all of that in mind is there some way that you know we can perhaps open ourselves up to players that we haven't known um and yeah. take some stuff from them you know and, and be inspired is there something of value that i that think comes from that yeah with fema uh as with all my favorite players right you know i tell all my students <clears throat> You have to give people something that they can't get anywhere else. Mm. And the easiest mm, and most deep. surefire thing is to be yourself. Because right. that's the one thing they can't get anywhere else. That's correct. So you have to become enough of yourself that you have rendered yourself irreplaceable. Right. right. It's like someone like goes, you know... Like I heard this about, uh, I was just watching the Jocko documentary mm. and Joni Mitchell was talking about, she wanted bass different. She didn't want someone that just played the roots all the time and the fives. And she wanted somebody to come from, and, and someone told her, hey, there's this guy named Jocko Pastorius that plays really weird, like what you're saying. I think it'd be, <laughs> and she, then when they got to her, she's like, that's what I've been waiting for, you know? And it's like... <laughs> So you just have to be what you are. Right. That's the inspiration that I get from FEMA. Like right. I wish that I could take something of it to my playing. Like for instance, this is a great example. Mm. It, when you brought it up earlier, that solo, mm. uh, at Sarajevo. When I play with distortion, it sounds ugly. Mm. Now I could play melodic. Mm -hmm. And I could play, to me, the most beautiful chord voicings. Mm -hmm. And it still has a a sound like my face is making right now, you know? Right, right. right. <laughs> now, FEMA plays with distortion, and it sounds like this fan of overtones <laughs> and just pleasing, like I want to touch it and taste it. And, it. like, it's just aesthetically... It's so true. And, and it's <laughs> lyrical and beautiful, the intervals and everything is like... But it's all just like, ah, I want to eat that, you know. Like, yeah. how do I don't even know how to get that. Yeah, and at the same time, it's like, it's it's that kind of. Oh, song, it has the but... thing, but it's just like fans out. It's like super pleasing. So I just, so I can't. I want to take it and, and apprehend it and use it, and I just can't. Like, I I need to talk to him about how to how he got it. But even then, you know, like there's uh the basis for fish, Mike Gordon. Yeah, yeah. He is like, I think probably done the deepest dive on Phil Lesh mm. out of anybody because he actually had the money to like experiment with it as well right, as right. being a complete disciple, right? So 
there's this one song like I I I want to have my tone. I don't want to have Phil's tone, mm. even though he has one of the best bass tones in the business. Mm. But there's this one song that I would like to get somewhere in the bar Paul Park with a pick. It's mm. called Bertha. I just can't do it. So I called Mike and I asked him about Phil's tone because I know he's done it. He's completely replicated his rig. He knows everything. Mm. He's like written a book on it. Mm. So then at the end of all this stuff, that we're talking for like over an hour. And he's sending me stuff, you know, to help me out. But he tells me this story at the end that made me just like throw it all away. Mm. Um, he was at Terrapin Crossroads, which is a, a, Phil, a club that Phil bought to have his own shows. Right, right. And he's having rehearsal, and he's got this German bass that he got that's, like, amazing. Mm. Looks crazy. Sounds crazy. Oh, the, the, and the reader. He, the reader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so he he asked Mike, do you want to play it? And he was like, oh. Yeah, so he, he picks it up. He was like, I had the bass, his rig. I mean, he handed it. I saw that sound. He handed mm. it to me. I played it. Didn't sound anything like it. He said, then... But this is the kicker. Mm. Then they had a little rehearsal in the dressing room, and he had a little bitty like Eden combo amp, not the ta da, you know, yeah, this little Eden combo amp. He said he plugged it up, and it sounded exactly the same. Mm. It just spread this bottom across the whole floor of the room, and just that fills. And I was like, it's right here in these hands, man, and in his head and heart. Yeah, and I yeah. just was like, forget it. Yeah, don't yeah, even yeah. worry because you could get his bass right. and his rig, right. still not do it. Yeah, 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 very much so, very much so. so. I mean, Fima talks about in the, that particular situation as well, like with him and Michelle and Diego Cello. And, I saw and, that. He know, said she picked up his. Like, <laughs> she picked up the bass, and it's like it's everything oh. is right there. You know. See, that's that's uh, this again. They go back to it. It doesn't have to be God. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. acceptance of the way we're made yeah. is perfect because yeah, yeah. we have a superpower that only we can do. Yeah, and whether it's the way we write, play soccer, talk, play music, it could be multiple things. It's the way we do it. Right. Like every quirk, everything that might be a fault, if you squeeze a balloon here, it pops out there. Maybe it's a strong point on the other side of that coin. Yeah. Maybe even a superpower, but you have kryptonite over here. You just have to accept and I accept what you are, mm. embrace it fully, love it, mm. um, depend on it, gamble mm. on it, right. leap off the cliff with your faith on it, like right. go for it, right. and then maybe you find out like the birds that get thrown out of the nest. Right. Right, right, right. Sure, they see you flapping. They don't know they can do it. Mom just goes, "Hey, Go. you're you're wired for this. <laughs> Get out of here!" You know, like <laughs> so. We just gotta start flapping. <laughs> you know, <laughs> take off, <laughs> and then you find your superpower. Right? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. <laughs> now, this uh, that is that is very very true, and 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 I find that you know again, like I'm using FEMA, I'm sort of misusing him as 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 an example right now um for find your inspiration find someone who where something kicks right it it might not like other people might think oh distorted bass sound is terrible you know never yeah. never again but to me it's beautiful right when he and, does it yeah and, and i mean i like his better than jocko and that's oh, yeah. just that's just a confession yeah 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 yeah. like yeah, the, yeah. the tone yeah yeah Everything. god it's man just, <laughs> it was really perfect. This, it was just these, perfect. <laughs> I had these moments where I would, um, I got, you know, as it happens, I got double booked. Um, and and I called FEMA, like, FEMA, can you help me out? Singer, songwriter, you know, gig. Can you help me out? Can you sub for me? I got all the material here. I'll send it to you. You know, can you do this? All right. He says, yes, sure, he'll do it. So he gets the material, learns the material, plays the gig. Everything goes well. And perhaps six months later, I hear a recording of it, and I don't know it's him, right? And uh. and I'm like, who the hell is this? Because <laughs> this is on some other type shit. Like this is like next level. I don't know. I'm not. Am I playing this? Like I was questioning that because it sounded a little bit like me, and and and, and I was like, that's weird. I don't remember ever sounding like that. And then the thing that kind of did it for me 
was um, the sound of the bass yeah. was somewhere between, but right between a fretted and a fretless, right? Yeah. So yeah. it was like, okay, what is this? Is it fretted or is but it you fretless? You can't even tell. But I'm yeah. like, I can't tell anymore. So you know, later it kind of <laughs> revealed itself. Like it was FEMA all along, you know? And and he was playing a bass that he had built and, and you know, some oh, wow. stuff. Yeah, stuff like that. Like, it was, it was incredible. So, I think there is something to be said too, also about coupling that inspiration with what you said about being out of your comfort zone. Oh yeah, oh yeah, most like definitely. those difficulty moments. They're revealing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. I always liken it to 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 going in and kind of becoming the Tasmanian devil. You know, from the cartoons, right? <laughs> if you go, you go into a pit, you become the Tasmanian devil, and then you finish the gig and you leave again. But inside, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. not like you, 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 you cannot afford to, you know, be super loud or whatever. But inside, you're kicking ass, and, and <laughs> there's just this cloud of smoke and, and you know, mayhem <laughs> that's going on in your head and perhaps in your heart. Uh, um, for sure. You know, but then... What what's coming out is focus, you know. The, yeah, <laughs> you, you can't, you know. You, it's nothing else really, really can come into place. And again, like I so appreciate a player like Fima coming in and doing my gigs, you know, and subbing for me. Yeah, it's I I would be I would be in, incapable for one thing, but just petrified. It's, I just don't read good. I don't read well enough, you know. But I mean, you were at man. the pit. You were in the pit. You remember the? I don't know if you remember. Yeah. The, the, oh, I saw, totally. It was so yeah. great to see the. Yeah, like you saw you know. the whole setup and and whatnot. You know, like imagine, imagine that. Like the last show that FEMA subbed for me was a show called Fun Home, where I was playing five basses. Wow. Yeah. So you would go from fretless to a Hofner back to fretless and and the same song fretless and upright <laughs> bass upright bass with the bow right yeah and then you go to a precision you have to sound like like a jameson right yeah yeah um then you go you know into my um i take it i, I always call it the anthony jackson like mindset yeah pick up pick up the fretted five string and try to sound like that you know yeah um it was a hard show to play right five five instruments all you had to kind of figure out which one to mute and unmute at the same time and and all of this shit wow, i bet look. that was fun when you got it going though huh it was great <laughs> it was awesome no it was it was absolutely i had a blast i always i always likened it to imagine 21st century chamber music philip yes yeah. whatever right yeah um with peter gabriel's rhythm section <laughs> oh that's okay so <laughs> that's that's the best description that i can give you for, for what's that, for that. uh jerry morada that was well jerry morada or um manu kache oh manu oh yeah i love right? manu i love them both yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. And manu. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah for sure for sure but you know yeah. that there was all these textures and sounds mm. and 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 interesting voicings and and like one yeah. note every note was very very specific right and, yeah. and Bima came in and killed it, right? And absolutely killed <laughs> it. Awesome. But had a heart attack. Well, and, and not literal, but had had like a serious, serious pressure filled environment yeah. to go into. Right? <laughs> not the easiest it, gig. Not the easiest gig. <laughs> He's the man for the job. That's awesome. <laughs> man, remember uh, Lost Tribe? Yes. Oh man, and um, um. I just blanked on the drummer's name. Shoot me. Um, uh, I it'll can't. come to me. Yeah. Oh, there's so <laughs> that band was so good, man. And mm. he shined in that band. Oh yeah. So much, man. Yeah. It yeah. Was, uh, I get that a couple times. Like, um, people were like, uh, cause they were signed to Winham Hill. Right. Um, I'm really, I'm, I'm probably wow. mispronouncing the name, but no, know, that's like, right. Because I bought the record. Completely different album, a completely different label, and yet when you listen to it, it all of a sudden there's this funk coming through, right? Yeah. And it's it's like the real funk, right? Yeah. And, and and it's it's so deep and it's it's so that the pocket is all over and and it's just incredible, right? But you wouldn't necessarily 
expect that from an album coming from that label right you, you, yeah <laughs> not with the pill for sure no you know so <laughs> That was I. I heard that a couple times. Like that totally took people by surprise. Um, Man, and, what and, and his claim definitely, definitely stood out there. Um, so I want to leave you with the last story because again, like I'm, I'm, I'm no, I'm imposing on your time. Um, oh, sorry. But I had, I had this, this moment with, with females playing, and and you know because we liken a lot of this inspirational talk with religious situations and 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 perhaps spiritual situations. I'm not the most religious person. Um, I do consider myself spiritually inclined. Um, I do, you know, I burn my sage and, and all of that stuff. Yeah. Nevertheless, um, I did have these two moments listening to music. And, and one of them was at a, at a Marcus Miller concert. And I, t I told the same story to Poochie Bell, who was the drummer on that Marcus Miller concert. Oh, nice. You got yeah. to tell him. Oh, That's yeah, yeah, great. yeah, yeah. And and the other one was um, was Michelle and Diego Cello uh, yeah. at the Bowery Ballroom, and FEMA was playing bass on that, yeah. and and that was the closest that I have gotten to a religious experience so far. Yeah, and, you know, sober. All right, uh, like oh, absolutely there for the music and all of that, and all of a sudden uh, there's this thing coming off the stage, and it's. It's coming through the audience and it lifts everybody up, right? Yeah. And that's the best description for that moment that I had. Like it was, it was so strong, and 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 he was part of that. So it, you know, it yeah. is, that it's rather significant to to you know also be my end to be open to something like that and and yeah realize that the dude actually did it, you know. Um, so, <laughs> yes. you know, he, he was you, there, like he was on the you other You felt side. it. Yeah, yeah, I felt it. It he was did real. It, right. So this, yes. um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> this, I mean, when we were growing up, like we wouldn't even bother with music unless it did that to us. Like yeah. the, it had to have that mm. even from a record. Mm. Like it had to have that thing that's right. like where you experience wonder. Right. where it stops time where you know all those things that happen when you have a quote unquote religious experience i think the key for us uh is to become more sensitive to those happening we've kind of dulled our sense to it mm. dulled our senses mm. so we, it's a it's really a, a attitude of kind of taking things for granted Right. But really, right. like almost any moment, mm. like just us talking, the fact that I'm conscious and you're conscious and we're using this thing that humans created called language to try right. to talk about <laughs> what it is, yeah, yeah. The religious experiences and whatever, like we're just wrestling with it. Like all that is equally as wondrous as the mm. moment you had. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no doubt. And, no or, doubt. and moments you will have, like, or just being in nature or, like, I get so much of it with my kids. Now, and it's just like with anyone. I could look at any other human. Mm. I used to be one of those hell is other people, people. <laughs> and now I really realize that heaven is other people, too, and right. a bunch of other things. Right, right, right. So right, if right. I could just become more sensitive and aware think if you're having kind of a perpetual religious experience and the amount of gratitude yeah. that yeah, yeah, you would yeah. feel like perpetually that you had during that one. Right. That's right. to me what the mystics are trying to get to. Right. And right. what music does is it creates this, it kind of draws it out so that you can experience a chunk of this heaven. Mm right that's real even though we can't scientifically like if we just use meters like what is it right but right. why does it do this like right. there's some you know right. so that's how i i think about it like it religion and so many things are so loaded with baggage right but i know musicians especially have an affinity for whatever this mystical thing you want to call it right because i mean we make a lot of money off it I mean, we survive off of it. Yeah. Like we feed our families off of it. And 
it's real. Like, why would people like save up mm. and pay money <laughs> for us to just, you know, do yeah. this thing that we do? It's yeah, yeah, real. Yeah. For it's sure. real. So for I, sure. I, I think if we just keep following that feeling mm. inside and outside of music, we're going to actually meet whatever this thing that God is supposedly or convince ourselves of the reality of it. And I really just think it's love. That's mm. what I think it is. Because mm. what makes all your fear go away? What makes you able to throw yourself out of the nest or right. take off all your clothes with the spotlight on and reveal it's love? Right, right, right. right love right. can make that fear go away. Yeah, and then it sure. spreads. Yeah, yeah, because other people <laughs> see it. Other people see it and, and perhaps I feel it. Yeah. Feel it, you know, perhaps get inspired by it, perhaps see a little bit of themselves in what's happening to you. You know, if it's possible for you, that's what I get from FEMA. Like, wow, he did that. Like, I don't need to transcribe it, I don't need to call him and go, How did you get this tone? I'll be like, He did it, he was himself. Yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah, could go yeah, look yeah. to my son, Nigel. See, Nigel, that's how you do it. Like, right. he's him, right? I could t remove. You could just listen. You go, Daddy, is that FEMA? That's FEMA, isn't it? You're like, yeah, that's wow. FEMA. That's what, so and it, it empowers the rest of us, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, that is so deep. No, that is fantastic. That is that is awesome, really. <laughs> this, I'm going to leave you with one one last story. Sure. Because like I, I, we, and this kind of closes the circle on what we started with at the beginning with the nice round sound, right? Yeah. Um, we ha I had this conversation with FEMA couple of years ago and and um uh, <laughs> i think i don't remember the circumstances of it but basically he said well listen george if you want to hear the bass a certain way if you want to hear more bass go to the amp and turn up the bass <laughs> <laughs> like oh, I'm like, <laughs> that's the secret. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm I'm so stupid right now. But <laughs> that was that was it. And and he was like, he was not he was not trying to show me up or anything. He was sincere. Yeah, he was being sincere. It, it, totally sincere. Like, just... <laughs> if you want to hear more bass, go like go to the end and turn up the bass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was, I love it. <laughs> that, was, like, that explains so much. <laughs> so, simplest, the simplest thing sometimes. <laughs> right? Who knew? <laughs> you could have fooled me. Uh, I wish I could have hung out with so, him more at this life. Jeez. But anyway, you know, I mean, you know, he's he's here. He's in New York. You can always call him up. You can always, you know, get in touch and whatnot. Um, I may actually... Uh, I shouldn't put you on the spot on the air, but maybe I can get your number from him because I would love to call him and oh yeah 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 no and just say hey and uh and no thank worries. him for many years of uh pleasure oh know? yeah 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 most definitely I'll I'll text <laughs> it to you once we're done here it's, that's that's sure the thing. easiest thing in the world all right well listen Otil Burbage thank you so much for making yourself available today I really really appreciate you taking the time and and you know sharing your insights sharing your thoughts on on what Absolutely. is in reality not the easiest subject to talk about because we're talking about you know inspiration we're talking about musicians that 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 do it for us that inspire us yeah. that perhaps influence us you know that motivate us uh and we are musicians so we it's like putting a magnifying glass over our internal process that includes both the head and the heart so you know yes it, it's not an easy subject and i really appreciate mm -hmm. you you know, taking taking the call and 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 letting us into and, and showing us, you know, your perspective of that. You know, and that's that's absolutely valuable. So, thank you thank so you. much for being thank here. Thank you, today. man. I'm always down to. Uh, I I love to talk about the human part of things. Of course, that's what's hard. I've lost people, mm. so it matters. Yeah, it matters how it comes out in your music, but it also just matters for you being alive and healthy and happy and so i'm always super happy to talk about the, wrestle with this human thing because it's oh, yeah. difficult 
it's oh yeah, 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 most definitely. Well, yeah. listen, maybe, maybe we'll we'll have something. You know, maybe I can come up with some sort of subject to talk about. Uh, I'd love to have you on for a live video. Um, sure, we'll, I'd love to do it. We'll figure it out. You know, um, there's right now we've Absolutely. got nothing but time. So <laughs> <laughs> I've thought about you so much, man, during the pandemic oh. because you know, with musicians that work on Broadway, like you need the venue. I can yeah. sit here and live stream something from this yeah, room. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you it, need the other people. You need the audience. You need the venue. You need the whole thing. And I'm just like, oh my god, what are these guys and classical musicians doing? Yeah, yeah no, it's it's one time? of those like, it's one of those places that 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 does not work without an audience. You know, where even with all the like, we're a couple steps removed from the audience. There's, you know, people, yes, the audience doesn't still. necessarily see us, you know, none of that. But, um, but. it doesn't work without yeah. the audience. And, it, and, and here's the kicker. Like, it doesn't work with only a percentage of the audience. Yeah. It's just <laughs> the other thing, you yeah. know. So it's, uh, you know, gladly I, I got, like, the, the home recording thing set up. You know, I teach yeah. from here. I got this awesome Facebook group with George's Bass Chat, which is now... 1300 people wow I'm, that's great i'm, I'm a no-name player right i'm 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 a working stiff really right um but there are 1300 people out there that's worldwide awesome. Who, that's awesome who have you know accepted the invitation or who want to be part of this right um i just uh, i did a number of like and it was also great to kind of get deeper into my head and and figure out like because there are yeah. always thoughts flying around and and when you're on a eight show per week schedule you don't necessarily get those thoughts <laughs> out right yeah and yeah especially if, you, if you're playing like ain't too proud to two and a half hours of nothing but motown right and nothing yeah. but jameson and believe me when i tell you the bass never stops yeah well, i know <laughs> <laughs> the base is the whole thing yeah never I hear you do. never stop that's right? it so yeah. <laughs> it was like the first couple of weeks i slept yeah I, I yeah was, i was exhausted and i i didn't yeah. realize how exhausted i was right but then you know I, I started this 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 group and and got into some subjects that are really interesting and of course you know we went through all of the craziness of last year of the george floyd murder the yeah. Brown taylor murder the and then here so in new york murder, you know the, the ahmed as in not in new york but the ahmed aubrey murder yeah and here in new york we had the amy cooper situation which yeah. kind of really yep. I remember tightened that. our situation because you know we are supposed to be a liberal bastion yep. and whatnot and Ooh, wee. <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden it's not so liberal anymore right oh no cuomo was did bad with the pandemic just like everybody's so he was know, a hero uh, against trump you know it's like oh wow dude yeah, yeah. we're all human we all yeah, yeah. Yeah, have yeah, the yeah, same yeah. failings and we no all doubt. no doubt and, so but you shouldn't you should call yourself no name though because i mean as you've seen by the the number of people that are following i mean the spot that you're holding in New York, that's a very <laughs> major thing to be, I, you know, I don't have the skill sets mm. even to mm. do that job more uh, and the courage, mm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but you're like, you know, <laughs> you're the cat. Like that's Man, you're one that's... of the cats doing that. Oh. I, I find it very, you know, when we met outside that show, Right, right, I was super right. psyched to talk to you and like see that peek into that world because that's like I'm always in bands. Mm. I don't read. We mm. work on everything. You know, it's just mm. a different, uh, a different it's, lane. Right, right, know? right, right, right. No, this man, that's super nice of you to say. I really appreciate that. That's, uh, um, you know, you do what you can, and I certainly, because I'm coming from a, a, a freelance background, and I do see yeah. myself as a freelancer. Yes, uh, you know, absolutely. That's that's what I do. The theater gig is exactly what that is. It's a it's a gig, right? Yeah. Um, but I'm a freelancer at heart, right? So yeah. I've I've done the the ten years of touring with this act and with that act and the I, sessions and I was thrilled to do it and I'm thrilled yeah. to do it again. That's the other thing. Yeah. I, it it doesn't it doesn't have to be stationary. It doesn't have to be in a theater. Um, yeah, it's, I I always find it dubious if if the instrument only comes out when there's a theater gig on the horizon. 
right? That's yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, mm, <laughs> I think you're losing, you're losing perspective. You're losing, you know. That's good though, man. I mean, you can keep balance, you know, because oh, you yeah. don't want to lock yourself only into one thing. Because no. you, know, you go with a pandemic to be the sure. It takes all of that away. <laughs> All right. Then you got nothing. You got, <laughs> you know? you got nothing. All right. Takes yeah. all of it away and say, all right, motherfucker, see how you deal with this. Yeah. Okay. Because I'm not going to. I am nature. I am the yep. pandemic. I am nature. It's all over. <laughs> I just I just went like this and 500,000 died in this country. Yeah. All right? yeah. So yeah. that's, you know, you kind of have to, in my opinion, at least consider the bigger picture and 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 see you and for me of course that means being true to myself and being a freelancer right yeah that's, I, I mean it's a just... it's been a great teacher hasn't it <laughs> oh, yeah, no, doubt. no doubt i mean no doubt. wow no doubt i certainly would not have been able to crystallize the ideas intents intentions contents um you know subjects topics you know, without having the time and the mental space to really yeah. deal with this. And and there's more. Like there's there's it just yeah. keeps, you know, keeps going. Would you know, it's definitely how shall I put this? Uh there is a little bit of a perhaps regret, you know, but more like, hmm, if I can keep this going yeah. after the pandemic. Yes. You yes. Know, I I can really, I can get into stuff of my soul that perhaps I wasn't, I wasn't able to get into before that I, for whatever reason, where I got in my own way, right? Yeah, we need but, to keep some of these things from this yeah. time yeah, 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 when yeah, we yeah. go back to normal, be like, ah, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. going to do that that way anymore. Yeah, like, exactly, exactly. I know a lot of people that have discovered the value of time yeah, during no this. You no, know, and, no. and they have more of it than they wanted, but then you realize, oh my goodness, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some parts of this having all the, especially if you have, I have a three year old and a six year old. Well, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, you know, yeah. it's like, it, yeah. I I had a gig. I left for ten days. And I hadn't been gone for a year. Wow. And my daughter, so I've been home a couple of weeks, and mm. she's three, and she's still so first thing in the morning. Something, like, Daddy. I know like Colorado because I went to Colorado for 10 days. So now she's like, mm. F Colorado. I don't like Colorado. <laughs> you know, <laughs> she's still talking about it, but she's not used to it. You know, oh, like, man, that, is, <laughs> so it's like that is something. No, that is Colorado. Some... Mm -mm -mm. I said, yeah, I'm going to take you to Colorado one time and you'll see it's fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> all right well listen Othiel, um uh, thank you so much again you know for, for man. making yourself available and and, and taking sure. the time um and you know stay safe stay sane much you love too. to your family uh and you know hopefully in the not too distant future you know we'll we'll have another hang on 46th yes. street or yes whatever, right um, i hope so i hope would, so man that would be righteous I'd love to see that show. Well, you know, <laughs> let me know. You have, like, serious. I'm, I'm totally serious. You have an open invitation. You know, when you're in town, and it's now on tape, it's now recorded. You know, when you're in town, yeah. give me a call. I'll hook you up. Right? Sweet. I, I will For sure. Bring your family. It doesn't matter. Bring your family. I'll hook you up. You come and see this show. I think it's a good show. I think it's. Oh, a yeah, great, it you is. know, I think it's. It I had we had a lot of musicians come and 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 have like a real emotional experience, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, I bet. And, and and they were kind enough to to let us the band know it was Good. because of the representation of 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 how we sounded, right? And yeah. how close we got without being carbon copies, but kind yeah. of getting to the to the essence of the Motown sound and 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 you know getting into into that that whole vibe um in a major way so it's you know it's it's a once in a lifetime show at least yeah. for me you know and i've done a couple yeah. of them now uh but it's it's definitely uh, I, I i'll never forget i was sitting right there where, where you see that that um the roads right the yeah. panel behind me um and i was preparing the show and 
and I only get this like every now and then uh, where they sent me a list of songs right and I was sitting there and I was writing out my, my lines and, and you know I was always a big Jameson fan right um, yeah but here I am and I'm transcribing his lines I'm learning the, sh the song some I'm writing out some I'm just memorizing and it felt like he was standing next to me it Man. felt like he was standing behind me looking over my shoulder and and being like mm, no <laughs> yes no no you, you know like he wants you to get it right <laughs> yeah yeah no he wanted he wanted me to get it right he wanted to get you know and 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 that was it was it was a deep experience it's uh you know the kind of thing where you have to put the bass down and kind of yeah step away from it for a second then you get back to it because your curi own curiosity kind of propels you to to do something yeah um it was that kind of experience it is it is that kind of experience to, for me um that's a you know it's a uh my theology mentor just died mm. uh, Sorry to and his that. thank you he was way too young but his wife talked about this celtic concept that that he loved i remember him talking about it. they call it the thin places mm. and the thin places are where it's like a uh the picture is of the veil between here and the other side and it's thin right here and right. you can see through it or touch or feel or something yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, that yeah. experience at that roads mm. where you feel this presence it's yeah. those it's one of those thin places yeah. that's what we're seeking in music is yeah. this that thing so yeah no, I'm, was... I, I'm really glad that you're doing this whole thing on that because that's what it's all about man <laughs> yeah, it it, you it, know. Can, uh, it can it can't be all about you know notes and yeah and connections and and networking and and I mean yeah. as important as all of that shit is right Cause career is, is career I mean we're born 20, in a capitalist system it is what it is twenty twenty one we you know we need to survive no doubt about that but yeah. there's also a lot of concept and and the other thing that I'm trying to do with these videos be it the live videos or the follow-up videos, is show that there are concepts behind uh, choices that musicians have taken. Like, it doesn't just... Because there's one thing that, yeah. that, that definitely irks me and that, that rubs me the wrong way is when especially black musicians get typified or stereotyped as it just comes out of them. It's out, oh, of, yeah. <laughs> out of thin fucking air right like the athletes too i hear yeah, that oh so they've got an extra muscle or something it's like no yeah. man no they, they there's work. a spiritual physical there's hard work there's mental there's magic there's the right. whole thing yeah right. there's genetic but you know no like you say all these choices yeah yeah and they were made specifically you know and they were made sometimes being in tune with your with your inner self or with your higher self and sometimes not you know sometimes yeah if, if, learn if, the hard way like making you know, the wrong really, choice yeah really see like the full picture right because the other thing that also comes with that is you know the stereotype and that that we black musicians here in new york are facing very often is oh black musicians can read you know, yeah uh, i i'm not helping that stereotype <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's anymore i used to be able to but know, i lost it plain, you know i mean let's you know this in, in all reality you know but that's that's what keeps a lot of people from getting employment i had like but a, that's had, a ridiculous stereotype in new york yeah. because like the jazz guys that i know oh. are like all the big band ca like they're playing classical and jazz and i'm no, like come on these guys can read like it's, crazy it's out there it's out there and i have i have a yeah. whole i have a whole series on 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 that video <laughs> on that if you if you want to check that out it's called broadway uncovered uh, I, I do want to there's, i there's am going to like, man i had three panel discussions uh that i hosted uh and and several follow-up videos now with with actors with music contractors with show producers hello like mm -hmm. really getting into yeah okay well this is what's happening what does it look like from your perspective yeah i'm on the other side and they're right? telling the truth yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, <laughs> right. or, or, or not you know but but they're giving, <laughs> i got you or they're giving but they're giving a representation of you know where their yeah. mind is at right so it's it's 
and all of that you know just to to close this up because i do need to clap us out <laughs> uh, all of that is is um uh you know would not have been possible you know if if the pandemic hadn't started yeah right it, it, Perhaps it would have been possible, but it would have taken a monumental effort. Yeah, with all the time, you know, people have seen so much with just having the time to see it. Oh yeah, yeah, most <laughs> definitely, most so definitely. It's so, it's gonna it's given us some gifts for sure, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna check that out. Bless you for doing it. Please do, please do. I yeah. think I think it's it's really interesting, and there's a lot of music stuff, of course, that I talk about, and and you know, it's it's stuff that influences me that makes me curious that inspires yeah. me that motivates me you know this um you i'm sure you show up a couple times i i can't think <laughs> right now i know that i i did i did feature the the tedeschi trucks first live album ah uh, cool I, I talk about that for for quite some time um yeah that's some good me and kofi on there oh you guys are burning yeah yeah burning on it. <laughs> absolutely burning. so anyway all this to say otil burbage Thank you so much for being here Bless today. Bless you, man. Thank you. All right.